making another haul video today. Um, it is for the new spring 2013 Lancome collection that came out. It's called In Love. You'll see all those gorgeous posters of Emma Watson next time you go to the Lancome counter. I think she looks so beautiful. She's one girl that can actually pull off the short haircut. I loved her pictures. And I actually heard that she helped design the In Love collection as well. So it was kind of, I've never actually bought a lot of stuff from Lancome. I think I have like their eyeliner and their mascara, but I've never actually bought makeup products. But this is one line that I was very tempted to try out. So I stopped by my department store the other day um, and I picked up a few things and I'm going to show you what I got. The first thing I got is the Lancome In Love. It's one of the blushes. I got it in the shade number 10, Peach Juju. Lancome has everything in French, so I'm going to butcher every name. I apologize in advance to anybody who's actually French speaking. I didn't really like the packaging of this blush, especially for the price. I think it was like 50 bucks, I think, or less, 45 But still, it's really expensive, and it's not like a solid packaging of like a metal or whatever. The lady was telling me to get the other one. There's another one with the, um, it's more pink, like baby doll pink. But I ended up getting the one that's more peachy. I thought it might look a little bit nicer. But I have yet to try it. It's really pretty though when you look at it. It's like this. This peach around it. And then this um, pink on the flowers. That's just a spray on. It's going to come off the second I touch it with a brush. And then there's like a lighter champagne color on the inside there. Let's see if I can swatch it. It's a very light pink there. I don't think I'm going to do any justice with my swatch but yeah the packaging again it's like that cardboardy kind it didn't seem all that great to me the mirror slides out like this that was interesting and also pointless at the same time but I like it That's the next item is an eyeshadow it's actually their color design infinite 24 hour eyeshadow in the color 201 Persistent Peach. They had four shades there. One was kind of purpley, and then there's the pinky gold one that I got. And I think there was like a taupe color and a green. The green was really nice, but I don't know. I couldn't justify getting the green. I can't justify getting this one either, actually. But <laughs> I'll see if I like it. This actually might be going back for sure because I have the Oz, one of the Urban Decay, the Glinda palette on the way. So I think there's a shade in that palette that matches this a little bit. So if if I like that one and I think they match, then I might just send this back because it was quite pricey. Um, but this is like a peachy gold color, and it's kind of like those um like the Armani kind of creamy powder shadows, and like um, L'Oreal has the same thing as well, their own version of it. I'll swatch this. It looks like this. Persistent Peach number two zero one. It's very nice, very, I don't know if you can see like the gold shimmeriness. Again, my camera sucks, doesn't do justice to how pretty that is. Check it out when you go in person, maybe. Let's see if you like it. And I don't think my swatch will do justice either. Nope, it won't. That is the eyeshadow, and that is the blush. The blush looks very white and pale, but again, I have poor swatches, so I'm not even going to bother. The last thing I got from that collection, I'll, oh no, no, it's not the last, it's the second last. This is what I mainly went for because I saw it on her eyes in the poster on Emma Watson's eyes. And I don't know if I mentioned this, I think I did mention it in the last video. I love colored eyeliner, I have so many, but I have none. All my color eyeliners are either from MAC or Urban Decay and they all have like shimmer in them or they're shiny in some way or another. So I wanted to get this one because it's just the solid color, no shimmer, no nothing. And it's their eyeliner. Oh, it's so smooth. Wow. I'm wearing it in my eyes today. I will show you that in a second. It's the eyeliner in Jade. It looks like this. And so it's very cute. And there's a clearer swatch. Haha. <laughs> there is the eyeliner. And I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. Close up. Anyways. <laughs> So that's the main thing I went for, and I and I wanted to get the blush. So this might go back if it matches the eyeshadow from my Glinda palette. Maybe the Glinda palette will go back. One of those has to go back, because I'm not rolling in dough. <laughs> and the final thing I got, which 
I'll admit I got because I thought the packaging was really cute. It's the In Love. It's the Lancome. It's like a going to be like a clear kind of balm, semi-clear. It's like going to be like those Maybelline tinted balms almost that are out. So it's Balm In Love. And I got it in 120 Coral Electric. And it looks like this. And that's a crazy color. But it's going to go on clear like a balm. But the packaging is so cute. It says Balm In Love like this oh you can't see it the light from my window is like flashing it completely but it has like a nice little box and whatnot Google is on Timtalia and you will see what I mean but that's really nice as well I want to give that a try the main thing I really wanted from the collection are the blush and the eyeliner I'll think about the other two the lipstick I think I got more for the packaging and then the final item I got that day is something I wanted to try for a really long time but I didn't even bother getting it because I had, was trying to finish up one of my um, MAC foundations. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I don't know if you guys haven't heard about this already. I think everybody has. But it's supposed to be a very good full coverage um, foundation. Why am I forgetting the word for foundation? It's supposed to be a really good full coverage foundation. And this is my color over here. I wear 3N2 Wheat number 38, and I'm wearing it today. I really liked it so far. When she put it on me in the store, my skin was really dry. Like, the colors, she matched perfectly, but my skin was really dry, so it was really, like, flaking and stuff at the top here, but that was kind of my fault. Today's actually the first time I opened up and used my Clarisonic. I got a Clarisonic maybe two months ago, so today's the first time I actually used it. I didn't have that, like, wow factor that, like, everybody says that. I washed my face once, and... It was a whole other face. No, I never had that experience. But when I did put this foundation on myself, there was less flaking. She said, the lady at the counter, she's like, you need to exfoliate your face. I was like, yes. I know. I neglect my face a lot, which is why I got the Clarisonic. I have so much makeup and so much other stuff. But when it comes to skincare, I don't know why. I just really neglect my skin. So the Clarisonic was one step <laughs> towards fixing that <laughs> so i'll actually maybe keep you guys updated on my progress with the clarisonic as well anywho that's all from my haul hope you enjoyed it hope you guys check out the collection if you liked anything thank you for watching my video take care bye